Canada. Thank you. Congratulations for making your final three. I know, I didn't think I'd do that. <laughs> what was your strategy coming into the game? Did you have one? Um, I just knew that I had to make it through the first little hurdle, which was could I be accepted into the game as an outsider? Like, and as a winner, that could I take that target off my back? And I knew that to do that, I'd just have to be the genuine, fun Aussie guy. So kind of be a bit of the, the, the clown of the group and, and, and also be a trustworthy sort of mentor friend, which was all very genuine. But as soon as I realised that, wow, they don't see me as a threat at all, they actually don't even see me as a player, that I could then start doing a bit of play on them. <laughs> Your, see, your series in Australia is very different than here in Canada. What was your favourite differences between the two? Um, oh, I love in Australia that it's the country that chooses their winner. I think they're the ones that see everything. So it's a more, like, unbiased decision. Like, you, in this version, you're making the players who don't, I don't know, they may not have seen everything to decide. but. I love in this game how it tests people more in that people are more willing to do things that they wouldn't do in real life to survive the game and survive the block. Like people would lie and they would cheat, they would slander other people's names. Stuff that I felt really uncomfortable doing, I kind of liked that it was a bit of a character test to this version and I feel like I passed, like I'm very happy with um, the choices that I made in the game and, and, and how far I got being true to myself. You don't think you could have done anything differently with your game? Uh, I probably should have um, held on to my alliance of three, the Threak Show, and in that moment of that veto competition when I knew that Joel was potentially working with the others, just grabbed him and made him win that round that it was between me, Phil and Joel. If it was me and Joel passing on to the next round, I would have thrown it to Joel and he would have saved um, Cassandra from the block and the brothers would have gone up and we would have voted the brothers out. And the whole show would be very different. I think Joel, Cassandra and myself would have then won. But in that moment, I was just a bit hurt that Joel had, um, had, had sort of accepted a better deal with Kelsey and the brothers, so I just went, oh, I'm done with Alliance, so I've just got to play this game for myself. Another decision that would I ever regret is do, giving my spot up for Cassandra, that moment where she asked, could I um, could I go home, like ask Kelsey to vote for me out instead of her. I just couldn't support the way that she played the game. I mean, if I left to have her win, I'm sort of saying that's how you win the game. I didn't want to do that, so yeah, I don't know. Their choices, I don't have regrets, but I guess they were tough decisions, tough decisions in the game. Do you regret dropping out of the final three competition? No, I don't because I don't think I would have ever got through the third final HOH. I just didn't want to play the game by studying the answers. I think that that's almost a weakness to win Big Brother by winning your way through competition, saving yourself from the block. I get that that's the game, but I wanted to show that you can also get there, I don't know, by being true to yourself and uh, from what I hear, I could have been a winner. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't unbelievable that if I was in the finale, I wouldn't have won. So that's reward enough for me. I don't need the money and oh, maybe it would have been nice to be I've won two Big Brothers, but then what next? Like, oh, would gotta, you do any more Big Brothers? Would brother? I do it exactly? What next? I have to do another one. If I, I would love to. I love Big Brother. I love it. I don't know what format I choose to do again. Obviously, I'm more comfortable in the Australian format. But if there was something crazy like Big Brother on the Moon or World Big Brother, like I'd do that for sure. Yeah. What were some of your favourite moments in the house? Favourite moments in this house? I think, look, I, I, I did have so much fun with Joel and Cassandra and Nikki. That I guess they're my best friends in the house. That, um, Like me and Cassandra would fight so much, but we'd love that Joel kind of played like the, the kid that was like, stop fighting mum and dad. And it was such a dysfunctional alliance, but yeah, it worked because nobody suspected us. I loved that. I was so thrilled at the fact that three sort of misfits or outsiders had got together and were and were powerful in the game. Um, and then Nikki, like I loved, Nikki was the only one that kind of understood 
where I came from in terms of Big Brother land and we had so many moments just lying on the bed together just talking about our versions that was so comforting for me. I don't know if I could have actually lasted the way I did without Nikki and when she left, it did kind of feel different and I was a bit sad. Are you going to maintain your friendships with, uh, with Cassandra and yeah, Nikki? Yeah, absolutely with Nikki. I think we'll always be mates, whether, yeah, different countries, I'm sure we'll rack up phone bills talking to each other or not. Cassandra, look, it's up to Cassandra. She's the one that calls the shots. Like, <laughs> she, when she told me to go away or she needed time off, like, there was nothing I could do to get her back. So I think maybe a bit of time apart will be good. But I think um, we'll always have that mutual understanding I think that we were probably the strongest players in the game and to then also be really well liked by the public is that's a rare thing I think mm -hmm. so I'm very proud that the person I worked with that we have that sort of legacy in this season. Perfect, okay, thank you. Well,